Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Yeah, I'm late again. Such is life. Enjoying uh, my J. Mouton Billiard. Very nice pipe. And I'm smoking Haunted Bookshop because I like it. So, those of you that know me know that I hate making list videos. I've tried to never make like a top five blend video. I don't like being called out for these, uh, you know, what's your top five, whatever. I love watching them. You know, that's the thing. I really enjoy watching them. And our buddy Padre Piper put together a uh, six questions for the sixth month kind of uh, challenge. And I'm really enjoying watching the responses. But I really don't want to make a, a response. Well, Hobbit and Piper, Kevin, who I thought was my friend, it's his fault. So, I'll put a link down below to Padre Piper's video. I'll put a link to Kevin's video. And I'll put a link to all the folks that I that I might talk about during this uh, this little adventure. <laughs> it's a complicated uh, set of questions, but you you'll be able to see them. Uh, maybe I'll type them up in the description as well, or at least my interpretation of them, because I'm not gonna go back and copy them. But you you could check out Padre Piper's original video where he details each question for you. And again, it's interesting. I'm really enjoying watching everybody else's videos. I just... Okay. Question number one. And I hate starting with a negative, but question one, number one is, what blend have you smoked you will never smoke again? Or don't want to ever smoke again? This one actually took me a while because... So there, there are there are blends I don't like. You know, there, there are things I don't like. So, for example, I didn't like McClellan's Virginias. Uh, you know, other people love them, and that's fine. To me, they were soaked in vinegar and very tart. I just don't like McClellan's Virginias. Now, they did make some good stuff. I've got some Christmas cheer. I, I like that occasionally. Um, I got a few other things. Uh, so it's not like they never made anything good. So and and I don't think it's fair to just blanket say anything made by McClellan because he wants one blend. If I had to narrow it down, I, you know, the Frogmorton series I think was one of the most overrated uh, tobaccos in the history of pipe smoking. I just don't understand why anybody would smoke them. But I can't pick one because uh, they I I thought they were all equally bad. By the way, McClellan had some good Oriental blends as well, uh, Virginia Oriental. So I'm not I'm not a hundred percent anti McClellan, but a lot of their stuff I didn't like, and frog more than it. But anyway, I can't narrow that down to one blend, and it's kind of not fair because you know company's gone and all that. So I thought about it some more. Now there's a lot of things I haven't smoked. You know, I haven't smoked. Captain Black Grape, which I've seen Everett Young's respond, uh, review of it. It just can't be good, but and I'm never going to smoke it, but that's not fair because I haven't had it. Uh, same thing with Bacon Old Fashioned. I will not touch this stuff. Uh, and I know people like it. I think they changed the recipe. But anyway, I won't, I won't try it. But this is something I've tried and, and would never smoke again. And I've got to, you know, I'm going to get some people mad here, but for me, that one blend, if, if everything else went away and the only thing left was this tobacco, I would give up pipe smoking. That blend is Lane 1Q. Lane 1Q is every bad aromatic brought together and averaged out to be yuck. <laughs> Just a big black mass of yuck. I don't know how anybody can smoke it. I'm disturbed by the fact that 
Captain Black, which is also pretty low on my list of things I would smoke, is actually the most popular tobacco sold non-bulk. And Lane 1Q is the most popular bulk tobacco. That just baffles me because I don't know how anybody could smoke this stuff. But clearly people like it. So this is my personal list. I'm not saying Lane 1Q is bad for you. If you enjoy it, God bless you. All right. So that's question number one out of the way. One tobacco I will never smoke again. Lane 1Q. Question number two. Gonna need my glasses. Ah, oh, Desert Island Blends. Two, two Desert Island Blends on a bookshop Pegasus. Done. Question number three. Okay, this is an interesting one. Three blends that I've never had and are no longer available. Or maybe I have had and are no longer available. I can't remember, but these are blends I've never had and are no longer available. Oh, you never got a chance to try them. That's right. Never got a chance to try them, and you can't now. And uh, this was this was fairly easy for me. Um, Union Leader, which was one of the blends that Karloff enjoyed. Uh, big fan of Bars Karloff. Would love to know what that tobacco was like. Plus, it's a burley blend. It's a cutter burley, uh, light topping. I, I'd love to have tried that, and it's just not possible. Original Revelation, and I mean the original House of Windsor. By the way, Union Leader was also House of Windsor. The original House of Windsor Revelation. I know there's matches. I've had them. They're bad. I, I don't like them. I'd like to find out if I would have liked the original. Uh, so so that's, that's another one. The third one, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this because it's uh, it's a, it, it's it's not a real blend in a sense, but uh, the blend that Sherlock Holmes smoked, Black Shag, I'd, I'd like to just try that. And I know Sherlock Holmes wasn't a real person, and Black Shag wasn't a real tobacco, but hey, <laughs> it's not available. So. Padre Piper didn't say we weren't allowed to talk about blends that were never available. So I'm going to go with Sherlock Holmes' favorite, Black Shag, for my third blend. Okay. Now it gets more difficult. Number four is name four pipe smokers, living or dead, that you'd like to sit down and, and smoke a bowl with. Well, I already mentioned the first one, um, <clears throat> Boris Karloff. I, I, I love Boris Karloff. Um, I also really enjoy Bela Lugosi, and, and he would be a close second here, but I'm only picking Karloff. I'm not, I'm not cheating. Um, Karloff was just an interesting guy. He was a good actor. He got typecast, and, you know, that, that had some unfortunate... Uh, effects and he, he had an interesting life and a long life uh did a lot of different things you know did radio did did uh television programs of course the universal movies and many other movies uh yeah i'd like to i'd like to share a bowl with uh with karloff and maybe he'd let me try his union leader so that would that would be a good thing uh number two i'm gonna go with G.K. Chesterton. This this was Padre Piper chose C.S. Lewis, and that's a great choice. I'd love to sit down and, and have a bowl with C.S. Lewis. Um, but G.K. Chesterton is one of my personal heroes. Uh, I, I love G.K. Chesterton's writing. He, he's a, another uh, Christian apologist, uh, brilliant man. And uh, I honestly, I'm not sure he smoked a pipe, but he definitely smoked cigars. So we'll we'll allow a little leeway there, uh, or maybe I could introduce him to the pipe. I don't know. G.K. Chesterton. Number three of four. Ah. Bertrand Russell. So Bertrand Russell, um, for those that don't know, was a philosopher, but he was really a logician, a formal logic expert. And he, along with a guy named Alfred North Whitehead, undertook it uh, in the early 1900s to 
provide a logical foundation for all of mathematics. And they wrote this massive two volume uh, set of books, which you can't read. I can't read it. They're, they're just ridiculously dense with logic notation and stuff. But they're called uh, uh, Principia Mathematic. Mathematic? Is Principia Mathematica? I think it's. I think it's Principia Mathematics. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're not going to read it. Uh, where they tried to provide a foundation for this, and you know, famously, they took like 200 pages to prove one plus one equals two. You know, it, it, it was that kind of you know attempt to really formalize mathematics. They failed. They actually found some holes at the bottom, <laughs> the logical flaws that can't be explained, and and to this day mean that all of mathematics sits on a shaky foundation. It's a it's a pretty good long-standing foundation, but at the same time it's not 100% uh, secure, and maybe someday it will be. So yeah, Bertrand Russell, I'd, I'd love to just chat with him about many, many things. He was a philosopher. He, he uh, had some views that, you know, were not exactly my my kind of views, but I like that too. I like uh, I like competing thoughts and things. So, my fourth one, you might have already guessed it based on my uh, blends. I can't try answer. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with a fictional character. I want to I want to sit down and have a bowl with Sherlock Holmes. You know, I really would love the opportunity, and it wouldn't last for but ten minutes. You know, the man's not going to sit still for more than ten minutes. He's going to be bored with me. But I just love to to have that experience, and you know, obviously Sherlock Holmes never existed, but uh, he's Arthur Conan Doyle did such a great job of of making him real uh, that I I I want to actually sit down and have a a, a pipe with that character. And if that's a violation that can't be uh, can't be allowed, then as my second place, I'll I'll put Arthur Conan Doyle himself, who I do believe was a pipe smoker. So that'll that'll work. All right. So there's my four pipe smoking buddies when I have my big people who are dead pipe smoking party. Okay, number five, and and these just get more and more difficult as you go along. Number five is five YouTube channels that I would like to recommend to a new member of the community. Now, I got the, the problem with this one isn't that it's hard. The problem is coming up with a list of five. And I just realized that I made a mistake. I got one, two, Yeah, that was wrong. Okay, I know trick right. I had too many. <laughs> so I'm thinking about a lot of things here. I'm thinking about what is the community about? Uh, do you need to learn pipe smoking? Do you need to learn uh, pipe restoration? Do you need to learn pipe making? I mean, you can do all these things within our community. Do you just want to? have friends? Do you just want to be social? Do you do, so it's so hard to answer this question. So I just picked five that I think are sort of must-sees and you know maybe I'll I, I will instantly regret this and I'm leaving people out that I don't mean to leave out and everything else and by the way this question is 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 flawed because you can't pick you're basically picking four because you can't have this list without including matches 860 and then Every video that I've seen so far, Matches was was on that list. So he's my number one. You, you got to watch John's videos. Uh, John was really the heart of the YTPC, and he was a fantastic storyteller. And you could learn so much from John just in terms of the art of storytelling. But beyond that, you, you could learn a wealth of stuff about pipes, tobacco, how to be a really good guy. Uh, yeah, John is definitely a must-see. Um, another one who has uh, sadly passed on, um, 
and, you know, as John has, um, is Alan Kerslake. And you probably don't know Alan Kerslake. He, he, uh, he's a bit obscure, and, uh, and I'm hoping his channel's still up. It was a few months ago. He was, uh, he was in uh, England, and he was just this, this kindly English gentleman who enjoyed his pipe smoking and wanted to share that. And, you know, I don't, I don't think he was ever super interactive with the community. I started watching him and did not realize that he had passed on. You know, I'm watching his videos and his last video is, it's a little odd. Uh, he's actually in the parking lot of his doctor's office saying he's got to go in for, for something. And, you know, he talks a little bit and he says, you know, catch all later. My words, not his. And, you know, I was waiting and waiting for, for another video, and a few months later there was this notice put up that he had passed away. So, uh, very, very sad, but uh, if his videos are still up, and I, I will check, and I will link all of these channels down below. Uh, you you got to watch them. So, Alan Kerslake is definitely on that list. Number three, how many do I need? Five. And number three is my buddy Artie at Artie's Place, simply because Artie is a very positive person who greets us every day with his, his uh, I forget what he calls him now, but his five thoughts for the day. Uh, nice, short, happy, upbeat videos that keep you positive, uh, that focus on what's important in life. And Artie's just a heck of a good guy. So I, I, I would recommend Artie's Place without question. So that's three, right? Yeah. Okay. So the last two here, I'm going to go. And these, these are repeats uh, in a sense. Uh, Padre Piper already said this, but I'm, I'm going to go with Stefan Skip. Uh, both of them, Stefan Skip Kane. The reason being, uh, there, there's multiple reasons. <clears throat> I mean, they're, they're, they're a great couple of people. They're always happy. They're always upbeat. They've always got something fun to talk about. Uh, their live streams are fantastic. They're very entertaining, a great deal of fun to watch. But they're also sort of... Um, I don't want to put them in a spot here, but they're, they're kind of like a social center for the community. And they know a lot of people. They know a lot of people that I don't know. And if you watch them, you get to hear about these people and you say, oh, that's somebody I don't know. Let me go and see if they've got a channel and, and check them out. So they, they sort of have become this sort of social nucleus uh, within the, the YTBC. And I, I really appreciate that. Uh, but I also just appreciate them. They're, they're, they're good people and I like watching them. So. Steph and Skip Kane are definitely on that list. And again, links will be down below. And last but not least, I'm sorry, this is probably cheating, but I got to call out Padre Piper. You know, Padre, again, sticking with this theme of upbeat, positive, you know, he's, he's all, he always seems like really high energy, happy. I watch his videos and I feel, just feel good, no matter what he's talking about. He's always got interesting stuff to, to talk about. He's doing some really cool stuff with his... Uh, his, his uh, reviews that he's doing with uh, Mark VV. Uh, he's also done some of these Padre and Pals uh, things. Uh, and and I, I really enjoy his, uh, his content and his friendship. So I, I had to have, even though he's the guy that created this ordeal, I have to put Padre Piper on the list. So that's my five. And of course, I could have easily come up with 10 or 20 or 40. Uh, but I'm only allowed to do five. Now, number six, and this is, I hate this part. This is the worst part of this for me. I think I've got to name six people that I want to follow up and do a, a VR to this. I apologize in advance. I know, I know. But I had to pick six, and I'm sorry. <laughs> My six are... Everett Young, JMZ56, Bama Guitar Dude, Scott at the 16th Day, Camper J, and Ghost Cobb. 
Now, if any of those have already been called out and I missed it, my apologies. Um, that's the problem with this. We're going to run out of people pretty quick if everybody has to produce six. Um, but, you know, I did six. I will put their names down below and hopefully be able to send them a notification so that they know. Uh, and I hope that some of them, if not all of them, take the time to, to do a VR. Because now that it's over, I have to admit it was fun. And thank you, Kevin Hobbiton Piper, for forcing me to do this. Uh, if you don't know Hobbiton Piper, I'll put a link for him down below too. Good guy. New new YTPC guy. Definitely worth watching. All right. We're probably over time here. Uh, let's see. Coming up on tomorrow night. Tomorrow, because it's Thursday. Uh, we've got Cane Rod Pipe Virtual Pipe Club. Got nothing planned. Um, maybe we'll do something fun. Hey, maybe we'll do a, six, a list of six things. I don't know what we'll do, but we, we always have a good time. So if you, if you can, please join us uh, tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, right here on the channel. And I'll be putting up a notification about that soon. So with that, guys, I am going to uh, draw this video to a close. Thank you again, Padre Piper, for you know doing this and, and kind of stimulating this discussion within the community. It really is fun to, to watch, just for me, not fun to list. And thank you, Kevin, for forcing me to do this. I will get you back at some point. Have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll see you on Friday night. Take care, all.